in this time. I, I'm doing something wrong. Um, so I wanted to ask you about um, hedonism. Um, you know, one of the key points in, in objectivism is that happiness is the ultimate purpose. And um, you're, I think, the only public intellectual I know of who, who states very affirmatively that pleasure is good. Um, and we know that that is counter to altruism, that statement. Yep. And I've been thinking, you know, it seems like if you look around, there's the, the, the two ways people approach pleasure is from an altruistic standpoint, um, with people denying themselves, like businessmen denying themselves pleasure from their achievements. Um, and then the other side is people, you know, kind of a thrill seeking hedonistic approach to pleasure. And I wonder if those two things are, you know, um, two sides of the same coin. Um, how do you think that morality is creating or impacts kind of a hedonistic uh, mentality? Well, because nobody wants to be an altruist. Almost nobody wants to be an altruist. And if you grow up and you don't want to be an altruist, and yet you also don't want to cause suffering on other people. You're not a, a monster. You don't want to see destruction. So you're not a nihilist. And, and you know, and you, you don't want to cause other people pain. Then the kind of out for you is, I mean, the two outs. And, and people, I think the better people become one of two things. I think, I think one is better than the other. But, but two outs are pragmatism which almost every businessman is because that's the out for morality. They, 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 are, they become pragmatists and then they, um, and then they feel a little guilty because they know they should be altruists. And the second, which inflicts, I think, primarily young people is hedonism. It's, it's devoting yourself to pleasure for pleasure's sake without sacrificing other people to you, uh, but it, without sacrificing yourself to other people, but sacrificing yourself to yourself in a sense. That is sacrificing yeah. your future to your present. But it is, you know, the culture does in action reject altruism. Uh, and it has to, but you need morality. You need guidance. You need something. Uh, so the only alternative they have is uh, uh, pragmatism, which says, eh, I'll just get by. I'll do what works. And I won't, I won't concern myself too much with ethics just at the margin. Uh, but it, but not too much. Um, or, you know, this hedonism. And of course, the real nasty people, the people who grew up wanting to break things and wanting to knock, tower, knock, knock stuff down become the nihilists. But those are the alternatives. They're all non-altruistic alternatives, but they're all, in a sense, uh, 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 the outcome of altruism. They're all what altruism leads to as, you know, so you could argue that the, the hedonism of the Romans, right? Let's say the Roman aristocrats was a consequence of not having a moral code, not knowing what to do. So if pleasure is good, let's go all in on pleasure and to hell with the long term. Let's just embrace pleasure right now and, and, and let's live by that. And that's, yeah. that's what's so sad. And that's why it's so important to get people when they're young before they make some of these decisions, which sometimes are irreversible. Yeah, it seems like um, it's definitely a, uh, um, very much afflicts young people. Um, and well, because soon not... enough you discover that hedonism it, it, it does not lead to pleasure, does not lead to success, does not lead. And then I think they become either uh religious fanatics or they become pragmatists right so they either yeah. become pure real altruists or some form of religiosity or they become um a pragmatist very few people stay hedonists for the for, for their entire life some do i mean you you can find people who are you know never never grew, never left woodstock right but that's a minority yeah, there's very few people who get to the point because I think you need objectivist morality for it to yeah. tie pleasure to long term. Yes, that's right, and 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 that's very difficult. 
so people wing it, they, they figure out something, but to actually have guidance, you need a philosophy and objectivism is the only philosophy that does it. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.